in this tutorial, we'll ask the question how to use ChatGPT for writing code. Then I'll show you how to use the ChatGPT for learning how to code in Visual Studio Code, which is a free coding editor. AI is the future of coding, so I invite you to our AI for Code community where you can meet other AI developers. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Okay, the way generative AI works is by predicting the next word. Well, guess what? JavaScript and Python are also languages. And writing code in general is about predicting what to type next. ChatGPT is trained probably on billions of lines of code, functions, if statements, and other coding constructs. Based on its large training model, GPT not only understands the code, but it can explain it to us or optimize it. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. First, I'm going to open my existing Python project. I'm going to scroll down to my C drive and go to projects folder and locate my simple Python project. Click on select folder button and here we have our simple Python program. All it does is import conda and print out a simple text message. Now you can add ChatGPT or GPT-4 to VS Code using extensions. So let's go ahead and go to extensions button. And here I'm going to type as an example, ChatGPT Genie AI, which is only one of many GPT extensions. Click on the first search result. And on the right hand side, you'll see that ChatGPT Genie AI has been downloaded by 400,000 developers. So just go ahead and click on the install button. And this is just one way of adding ChatGPT to VS Code. You can browse down to see what this extension is capable of. And here we have use your own Azure OpenAI service deployments, save your ChatGPT conversation history on your disk to continue anytime later, use Genie in problems windows to explain and suggest fix for compile time errors. See the difference between your code and ChatGPT suggestion right within the editor with one click. Several others and also you can create files or fix your code with one click or with keyboard shortcuts. Export your ChatGPT conversation history. And finally, use a GPT-4, GPT-3.5, GPT-3 or Codex models with your OpenAI key. So how do we actually use this GPT to write Python or JavaScript code, for example? Browse down to where it says getting started and click on this OpenAI link. This is going to ask you to either register or log in into your OpenAI account. Once logged in, go to your API key dashboard. If you don't see it, go to upper right corner, click on view API keys. Here, just look at the bottom and click on the gray create new secret key button. Type in the name, it doesn't really matter, but for this tutorial, I'm going to say VS Code Chat GPT for writing code. Now click on the green create secret key button. Open AI will only show you this code once, so make sure to copy and save it somewhere else. For now, I'll just paste my GPT code into Notepad. We're going to use it in the next step. Now let's go back to our project and here we have this simple Python code. So what you want to do is highlight the code or select it, right click the selected code. And at the bottom here, GPT will give you several actions, add tests, find bugs, optimize, explain, add comments, complete code. I'm going to select explain the code. Now, when you do that for the first time, GPT is going to ask you for your open AI key. So just copy and paste it into this box, press enter, and you'll have your GPT answer being typed on the left hand side. Every time you do this, about five to 10 cents will be extracted from your open AI account. And as you can see here, GPT was able to describe the code I have. Now there's a lot more other options you can access. It's pretty intuitive as is. So I'm not going to create another example just to show you those options. I'm sure you can figure them out yourself. AI is the future of coding. If you're someone who's still watching this tutorial, I invite you to join our AI coding community by clicking on the link you see in the description of this video.